Hello and welcome. This is Tom the Toolman from thetoolman.net. Today we will go over how to point your domain name servers so that your website will read your domain name and publish your site on the web. Now here we have, I will work with iPower first. Uh, and basically you come into your login area and you log in and when you log in they're all different so you may have to call your domain name server but I'm hoping this will give you enough information to where you will be able to get around doing this yourself without having to wait on somebody else okay so in the iPower uh, members back office here we're at uh, you'll see all your controls uh, and all your menus over to the left if you don't understand what they are don't worry about it uh, you can click on the links and read what they do it's always good to do that get to know your back office as well as you can so now what we're going to do in iPower we have to look for domain central and here's Domain Central. So we click over here to Domain Central and we wait for it to draw here. Alright. And now here we have one of our many, many, our many domain names, two pages. And what you're going to do is we'll just come over here and you tick on the one that you want to change. Uh, I'll use completewebsite.net, our newest web design site, as an example. Uh, we won't go through the motions, I'll just show you what to do. And then we'll come up here and click on Modify Selected Domains. And I hear they have a list of what you want to do. Set contact info, refresh who is, enable, and what we want to do is update the domain name servers. So we click on that box and you see this come up. And we read the instructions, appropriate use of this tool, domains have stopped working. Most users should not change this. Yes, I understand. Oh, we got to tick that. And then here you have your primary NS1. We click and put in ns1.thetoolman.net and then come down here and put in ns2.thetoolman.net now be sure you have the right name servers for your web host each web host will have their different servers okay so don't assume that they're ns1 and 2 in their main domain name they could be something totally different and then once you click on this it will reset your domain name servers we already have this one set so we're not going to click this button but once you click this button you should get an OK message saying they will be pointed and it will take anywhere from 24 to 72 hours to complete your domain name uh, transfer or pointing okay so there we pretty much we pretty much have that taken care of uh, we can come over here and look at the main subject of everything tells us where it's pointed where it's hosted the registrar and that's pretty much it uh, I hope this has helped you out a lot and we will be back with another short instructional video for your learning pleasure this is Tom the Toolman from thetoolman.net signing off